What's up, everybody? Welcome to Albany, Georgia. We're gonna start off today's video in Radium Springs. Radium, like the stuff that causes radiation, exactly. That's where we start our video today. Uh, great things, by the way, our last big Albany video got almost 60,000 views, so thank you so much, Albany, for loving our channel. We love you back. Right to the left of us is Radium Springs. Now, as you guys know, Radium is pretty much like, it's hazardous. But back in the day, people would come here to swim in Radium Springs because it, they thought it had healthy properties. Nowadays, we're aware it's downright horrible and we don't do that anymore. How far are we from Bethel, baby? And I'm talking about the greatness of this city towards our channel. Uh, you guys know that the beautiful group of field mob originated here in Albany, Georgia. And I was really fascinated to come. Albany city limits. We're in Albany now. Um, You're not far. We're less than 10 minutes away. Let's go. So the group of uh, field mob is from Albany. Those apartments like all run down. Like that. <laughs> so I was excited to like come to Albany because I've been listening to field mob. You know the song like... I'm so sick of being lonely every now and then. Now, that's Field Mob, and I've been listening to them forever, right? So to finally, like, come here was awesome. I was excited. Looking through the comments, and guess who saw our video? Field Mob. Somebody said, hashtag Field Mob. Thanks for checking it out. You know, whatever. They thanked us for the video. And I was excited because it's like, wow, like, here I am. I've been watching them forever since I was a little kid listening to their music. Go to their town, do a video, and then they see the video. That's, that's incredible. Um, but that was pretty cool. Um, so thank you, Albany, for liking my channel. I'm glad to be back. Currently, we're living in Sarasota, Florida. At the time I did that video, I think we were living in Alabama. We're back to Florida now. But it's great to be back in Albany and exploring the city. So it's a city that has a lot of hoods, so we've struggled to actually pinpoint which are the worst hoods because... There's so many of them. Um, so on today's video, we're gonna look through the Albany video. And every time we come back to Albany, we end up getting suggestions on, oh, this is the hood, that's the hood. Go here, go there. So on today's video, we're gonna try to go to Bethel, which they said was supposed to be one of the worst hoods in the city. Uh, we actually got tricked on our last video because in our last video previous to this one, is that a Ferrari? What's going on here? What? I see a Ferrari over here. Is that a vent or something? Yeah. Where's our bar? It's close. It's like a Ferrari here. <laughs> well, on our last video, definitely a Ferrari, right? <laughs> Somebody told us that the hood was like in a specific place and we went there <laughs> and it was actually like the nice side of the city. So they, they tricked us. They tricked us. We got tricked by people in Albany. So it's a bit of fun adventure YouTubing for the city. That's definitely a Ferrari. Mm -hmm. It's like a nightclub. They got all types of Latin flags and stuff or African flags. Interesting. It's definitely a Ferrari. <laughs> definitely interesting to see a Ferrari in a town like this. I see a German flag, Mexican flag, a bunch of Denmark maybe. A bunch of flags. Can I see a map real quick? Let me just get an idea where of we're course. at. Where we're going. Sand Trap is the name of that bar. <clears throat> I'm actually going to explore some neighborhoods around here while we're here. That's but the I'll, radio station. Yeah. Streets, 935. Radio station. They have an event or something? I don't know. They got a Yukonator. It is odd to see a Ferrari in a little town like this. Not where you expect on a little bit of town. Anyways. It's been an interesting town to explore in the past. We've had fun yeah. here. We've done videos that got lots of views. Had awesome people see the videos that are from this town. And got tricked into looking for a hood that wasn't a hood. So, been interesting. It's been fun. It's a city that's very, um... Yo, look at that escalator on 30s. That is insane. Soul food bar. Look at that. That looks pretty cool. Barbecue. Oh, this looks really cool in here. Okay, I've got to do my photo in front of this mural. I've done photos in front of murals for Instagram all across America. So every time I find a mural that looks cool like this, I'll take a photo of it. 
so it's been a, a theme on my channel to find stuff like this and then take photos of my car in front of it so i'll be real quick here because this is kind of grimy i mean the hood dog but give me a second guys i've been doing this thing for my instagram where i take photos of my car in front of uh water ice and pretzels mm. two things i like That was cool. Not that. Yeah, I don't know why I started doing it, but for my Instagram, I started doing just photos of my cars in front of mirrors. And it's been pretty interesting. I'm not going to say it hasn't been. Um, I bet you there's going to be some incredible barbecue in this. Is that a barbecue joint? I don't know if it's barbecue. I'm going to guess it is. Water, ice, pretzel. Oh, pretzels? This I'm, might be barbecue because I'm seeing burgers and stuff. If it's barbecue? Stuff. See what they're rated. Old fashioned barbecue. Yeah, I'm gonna guess it's highly rated. We can probably take it to go. So another thing about I don't know how backwards Albany is because it's a bigger city, but a lot of the cities in the deep south, if you were to go, let's say you go to like an African American restaurant and you're an African American, all the customers will walk out on you. And I don't know if they'll do that here or not, but um, it's, it's almost intimidating to even try. I don't know how backwards this particular town in the Deep South is, but we have been to towns in the Deep South where if you're, they're looking at us weirdly. Um, I'm not sure. There's a white guy over there. Maybe it's not that bad. I'm not sure. But like, I want to get some of their barbecue. I'm just not sure how they're going to take to us coming to their hood. I'm not seeing the barbecue on here. See the people, 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 see people that are giving it reviews? Yeah. And see if any white people have reviewed it. I know that sounds really, yes. really, yeah, there are. What are they rated? The water ice is 5.0. That right there? But I'm not seeing know. anything with barbecue. They're just like a neighborhood barbecue place. Well, the problem with these little Moultrie... The problem is that in the deep south, you can't just walk into a restaurant in the neighborhood. Because if it's like a black business, sometimes they'll freak out about you being white and being there. And if you don't believe me, come, come to Alabama and... I don't know. I don't know if George was like that, but we, we, yeah, we. I hate to say it, but it's 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 like in the deep south. Just don't do it, and I hate to say that, but we've had experiences traveling the deep. Like I love barbecue. I know African Americans usually have the best barbecue, mm -hmm. so I don't have a problem going to an African American establishment. Why would I? It's just where the good food but is. But in the in the in the deep south, if you go into an African American establishment. It's really frowned upon. I don't know here in Albany, but in other cities we've gone to, uh, it's definitely the case. It may not be a problem here. Yeah. I don't know if it's worth asking some of the locals. Hey, is that barbecue place good or not over there? But I don't think I'll, I might be Albany. It's not like that, but in Montgomery, for sure, it's like that. Like we ate at a, um, a barbecue place in Montgomery, Alabama, and uh, the locals were furious. I'm not even exaggerating. They were just furious that we went in there like they served us the food but then a car followed us when we left there like so it wasn't like the business i maybe the business was really nice and friendly they were glad we were there mm -hmm. but then um we had somebody follow us so the deep south is really tricky with race you got to be really careful mm -hmm. because like if you just go into a business and it's like a segregated area they're not going to be happy about it you being there like driving through at least you're in a car you can leave but that's just your chicken. This yes. is very good out here. Okay. And you're like in an alley. I have no idea where I'm at. I'm just driving. I have no idea where I'm at. Maybe you should look at a map. I know. I'm freestyling it. That's the beauty about what we're doing yeah. this YouTube channel. So you're just driving along in well, alleys. Yeah, I don't mind. I like African American barbecue. It's my favorite mm -hmm. type of barbecue. But I've been in the South, walking to a barbecue place. And have had everybody walk out. Like that was in um, Greenville, Alabama. Yeah. You smell it? You smell it? It's strong. Wow, they are burning around here. I got, if, if it tastes good, I'll eat it. Not, I don't care who's cooking it. If it's good, I'm going to eat it. But we've had experiences already in the South where we've gone to a place like that and it's turned out really nasty. Yeah. Like it always works out nasty. Mm -hmm. 
because they, they're segregated and they want to continue being segregated. Yeah. And if you're not following the segregation rules, they really get offended. You're the problem for not wanting to be like them, you know? Mm -hmm. I don't know if Albany's like that, but I, I'd almost feel intimidated. Like, I want to go in there and get some barbecue. Rich relationships in the Deep South are really, really bad. I have no idea where we're at. I just want to look at ground. Tell me about Buffalo Place. Georgia seems a little bit more progressive. Well, I wouldn't even say that. Yeah. Look at the towns we've been through today when we've been studying the analytics and the yep. history. When you see the analytics and history for these towns we've been going through today, you can kind of okay. almost understand that, you know, they, there's just so much bad history. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, like, I want to go there and buy some barbecue, but... Just no little spots like that always have the best barbecue. Yeah. Not long. But I've learned that the hard way. Like when I moved from Florida, when I first moved to Alabama from Florida, I would go to all those little places. And I think nothing of it. You know, look how much litter there is here. I would think nothing of it at all. I would just go into a black business and try to get some barbecue. What's the big deal, right? In Florida it's not a big deal, but you know, some of these little deep south places like you walk into the wrong business it can really get some nasty looks people can get agitated and get mad and you don't understand that you're disrespecting their culture you know I don't, I don't know if I can call that culture I guess you have to but uh anyways crappy topic but uh, what it is. I don't think Albany's like that, but I'm just afraid to find out. I'm seeing diversity right there. Yeah, I'm seeing people mixing. It doesn't seem like it's too bad here. Like they're definitely mm -hmm. different and together. Mm -hmm. I, I hate it because I, I I like like driving in the real experiences. I, I don't like um I don't want to walk in a restaurant where there's 500 people. I want to walk in a little you know little corner store or whatever you know. Um, but you just can't do it. Um, you just can't do it. Everywhere, just can't do it everywhere in the south. You have to be real careful. Lots of tensions. Only getting worse right now. There's riots in Atlanta. Um, they just started some riots in Atlanta. You know, and you got the on one side. They're slapping Rico cases on everything and anything. George is getting to the point where if if it's a uh, on one side, they look at it as a, you know, civil rights or, you know, they think they're doing a civil rights type of movement. And uh, the state of Georgia is slapping people with RICO cases left and right. So you have a federal RICO case. RICO means racketeering in continuance of an organized crime. RICO. Um, you have federal RICO cases, but the state of Georgia started doing... Uh, federal, it's you know it's a federal thing, but they're doing it on a state level. So now you have these federal type criminal organization charges being slapped on just random people in Georgia. Um, left, right. What am I doing here? You gonna do right? right. CW barbecue. I'm gonna guess that's a good barbecue. I mean, it looks like that building's been there forever. Yeah. Do a little bit more healthy today. Healthy? I want to eat salads and vegetables. But the state of Georgia started throwing around these RICO cases at people, and it's questionable how they're doing it now because it seems like you know they're just slapping these RICO cases on everybody, and it almost seems like you're going back to. An era of the past. Is it not real quick? Yeah. Get that out of my way, please. There's some apartments back here that look really interesting. Let's go back. There's so much to these apartments right here. And now they're dropping these, you know, it, it's almost like you're going back in time with, with, with uh, and, you know, think instead of relations getting better in the United States and the Deep South, they're actually getting worse day by day. It's like everyday relationships are worse. You got all this thing going on in Atlanta right now. Um, 
it's, I'm not going to comment on it because it's political and don't touch on political stuff, but the, the, the climate right now just isn't good. It's, it's a really bad time in the United States where things are going backwards instead of improving, they're getting worse with race, race relations. Um, a lot of these towns in this part of Georgia, Albany lost population. Albany lost 10% of its population in the last census. For a town this big, a town of 75,000 people to lose 10% of its population, that's a big deal. It, you know, small towns in the United States, it, it's not a, a, a mystery that small towns have been losing population. We know that. Like, we know small towns have been losing population in the United States, all over, especially South Georgia. But now you're looking at Albany, a town of 75,000 people losing 10% of their population. That, it's not exactly, uh, it's not good. It's not right. And all this area around Albany, especially south of here and east of here, are areas that have been losing population. Towns that have just lost 5%, 10% of population. You know, two censuses in a row, People, these towns are losing population. People are leaving this area. Um, people are not moving in. And the, the death rate is higher than the birth rate. That's not the way nature works. But that's what's happening in these parts of the deep south. All right, now I'll follow the GPS. Want to take a left here? Yeah. Um, so you have a very difficult situation in this part of the country where take another uh, relationships are getting worse um, didn't some, your dad have a car just like that, like that? yeah he had a Buick that's an Impala that's a Caprice Caprice yeah they're getting I would, if I can find one in good shape you remember there was a white one in Naples and I wanted to buy it you didn't let me yeah. I should have bought that I stand by my ah you ruined my life I'm trying to Marry me, tie me down. I could have been a free man. Do you like being married to me? It's all right. You don't let me buy stuff. Take my money. Yeah. I think that Dave Chappelle had a joke where he would say. I think it was something like, if a man could live in a cardboard box, if a man, if a, something like if a woman didn't have any standards, a guy would live in a cardboard box and be happy. Something like that. Yeah. All right, so what are we doing now? Going straight? Going straight. Must have got cold because all the palm trees kind of like died. Well, you had had that snap. That cold snap was serious, yeah. Yeah, it got bad. It was like what 10, 10, 10 here? Right here? 19, 17. Yeah, it got colder than usual. This is a university campus. Looks like crap. In a quarter mile, continue straight onto South Broadway Street. You know what's hilarious about all these southern people? Not only how bad of the situation is in the south, but then they'll accuse you of being like them. That, that's like the the icing on the cake for these southern people. Onto south Broadway Street, then turn right onto East Broad Avenue. Right here? You or, gotta keep oh, going further ahead. Further ahead. Right. This looks like Montgomery, Alabama. This is Oglethorpe. You're gonna keep Oglethorpe. going. All these people run real. Sorry, does that car not have a door? Am I am I seeing this? Yeah. Is it a car that doesn't have a door? It, the panel on the outside came off. How does that happen? <laughs> it's like, explain to me how your car doesn't have a door. They got in a crash. It took the metal off the door. Turn right. Can I keep going straight by any chance? Because I really like what I see up ahead. Uh, eh, you could. Oh, snap. Turn right onto Mulberry Avenue. It'll give yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to go through. Are those flower Please. rims? Dude, those things are sick. Sick. Look at the pump pulled out. 
Dude, that thing is sick. Look at them, like, what, twin floors? I am learning more about ribs. You like that? No. Did not say I liked <laughs> it. <laughs> What's the point, then? They look like flowers. So you like it? I like flowers. Right. I just... Southern aluminum recycling. There's a scrap here. Yeah. And they're now buying steel. I'm gonna be honest. I thought the other area was more hood than this area. Like the area that they. That said. looks nice, though. Yeah. Wow. Quite the color combination there. Turn right on Mulberry. Turn Mulberry. right onto Mulberry Avenue. Potholes. Quite a considerable amount of potholes. Yeah. Let's see what this place looks like. I don't know if it's uh, the radium, the peanuts, the contamination, the pecans. My face is like swollen. I'm about ready to try to make it. <laughs> I'm to make it instead of. No, I think. Well, we can go to the other place, but I know you. You want your jacks fixed. There's no way we'll make it to make it to Rankin. We got it. We left right you building right? It's not as far as you think. Okay, so how far are you from making? That's kind of productive. About an hour. Really? It's not far. An hour? Turn left onto yeah. Main Street, then turn right onto Clark Avenue. Turn right? Okay. But I want to do a series of left turns. Let me see the map. You're turning left. Oh, okay. That's what I thought. So, with the closest Jackson making, how far are we from it? This is not the direction I was hoping to go. Turn right onto Clark Avenue. You're almost there. Around this building, Continue on Clark it looks Avenue like you cross some tracks and then you'll make a right turn. A left turn. Keep going until you get to Swift Street, then turn left. Keep going. Huh? Turn right onto Every night and day. Left here? On Swift. I like the street. If you want to turn left here, you can. <laughs> There's like a ball's running on that little wheel and thing. Turn GPS. Jacks, the closest Jacks. Jacks. Hour 14. Damn. I'm gonna tell you, that's tempting. That is tempting. We could be out of Jacks in about an hour. Yeah. Hour and 14 minutes. Yeah. Man, that's tempting. But we'll, we'll, we'll think on that, okay? It's just making wasn't what I had in mind. We did a lot more today than I thought we would. I thought we'd need like two days no, to do no, it today. No, 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 no. Oh, this is Grammy out here. Mm -hmm. Look at all the litter. It's beautiful. This, this is why I live in the South. You should, you ought to just be able to litter. So this Bethel housing complex is supposed to be really bad. Let's find out. They said this is supposed to be like the most dangerous place in town or something. Oh, this is just an empty part of it. Oh, this ain't the right place. All right. Well, they got a palm tree. Can't be that bad. Oh, we look like idiots. Pull them in, pull them out. Oh, there we go. We had a video here last car. time. Yeah, we went in here last time, didn't we? Buffalo. You know, like. Like Buffalo. I think it's dangerous. Nobody's getting. Nobody's like reacting to us driving through here. You no, know, you like driving the neighborhood. That's like, there's a lot of people just hanging out there. Deep. Look at all the litter. There are homeless camps on the other side. That's like a lot of litter. 
You know when the neighborhood's bad when you drive through and people react to you driving through in a strange car? That's like how you know it's like really bad. See a map of it? Sure. I don't know. I kind of want to eat something better than Jack's. Okay, that's fine. I, I'm like, I want to eat Jack's. I want to eat healthy. <laughs> nice. Let me skate up. I don't think you can see his eyeballs. Mm -hmm. That's not good. Is this a housing complex over here? Georgia Avenue. Five minutes. Let's go there. What's going on up there? No idea. That's a lot of people on the road. Yes. Makes you want to kind of drive around it. Mm -hmm. through it. Let's see here. To drive through this or around it. It's up to you. They're making space for you to go All through. Alright, we'll, we'll get through it. Right. That would be right. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is hanging over good. The cat house. It's the cat house. <laughs> what are we doing? Donuts out here. Yeah, donut down there. Mm -hmm. So you're thinking that we head on all what, what what city what part of Megan is that in? It's not even in Megan, it's like Hawkinsville. So it's past Megan. Or before Megan? It's before. I don't know, dude. What was that noise? Big dump truck. Okay, I'm sorry, I just kept hearing one. Very confusing. There's some like railroad tracks vertically through this neighborhood. And literally, this would not be a bad <clears throat> stopping point to her today because you want to do like cities area. around here. Wouldn't Columbus make more sense? Is that a pink donk? You already know. There's a bunch of donks on the street. Oh, there's like a bunch of them. Pink, purple, every color in the map. Sweet deal, man. That thing is sweet. <laughs> there's a few donks like that over in Branson where we live. It's just, they just take a lot away. I feel like, like probably like Lincoln's and... They didn't like the word running. Lincoln's and, um, and Mercury's are probably like the only cars you can buy anymore. They're kind of like the big body cars. All right, um, so what's the plan? We can go get some jacks. Megan, mm -hmm. or you can go to Albany. 
Macon, okay, last time, let me get you something clear. Last time we went to Macon, mm -hmm. we did videos showing like the, the normal side of the city, it, it flopped. Yeah. The first time we did the hoods and they were like, oh, you don't give back to the community. We went back and get back to the community and videos did nothing. Nobody watched Nobody it. Nobody watched it even. So it's like, they want you to go to the bad areas and say bad things so then they can say, you said bad things. You know? It's like, they want you to do it. It's like, they don't watch the video to hope that you do something good because if you do something good like when we went back to Macon and get back to the community and stuff it's like they just want to see you do but you know what I mean like it's a very like twisted psychology of people they don't want to see you um do good things and then why don't you go back and help the community okay I went back and helped the community did they watch the video no so it's just a bunch of hypocrisy where if you do something not, like they want to see bad stuff if you do something good they're not interested in it at all that's the appropriate the, ah, whatever I'm i'll sorry, figure right? it out later <laughs> do you want jacks how about it how good is it rated too because it's rated 3.1 okay <laughs> right. 3.1 yeah oh honey that's padding in for a chance i know no, let's let's get to let's go to the other spot. Let's go to Columbus. Yeah, hold on. Um, I'm looking at something that's not. I mean, that's bad. Oh, hold on, I'm not even at... McDonald's get rated. I'm bad. looking at something else. There's two jacks in Macon area. I guess I like jacks, but a 3.1. Like, yo, a 50-50 chance of the food sucking. Okay. Let <laughs> me figure because the restaurant's rated 3.1. Pretty much got a 50% chance that the food's gonna suck badly. Speakers on the doors on the Yukon, that's pretty sweet. Oh, and he squatted it. He's got the front ten higher. Lovely. Just a lovely. Just a lovely. Every house on the left side's got plywood in the window. Shake my oh, they put in a new hotel in Tipton, like on Volks, which is like 45 minutes from here. Only 45 minutes, from a new hotel, mm -hmm. but why would we stay in Tipton? True, it defeats the purpose of our travels. Of course, okay, I don't like how this car behind us just came up on us really quick. Yeah, I don't know if you didn't like us running through here, that's just the way he drives, but that was super aggressive. I was gonna turn left, but I'm gonna keep going straight. Yeah, we, how about, yeah, we'll do that Columbus. Let's do Columbus. I mean, at the end of the day, it looks like, why would we go to Tifton? Like, there's not, those aren't the times we're heading for. Yeah. Those aren't even the times we're looking to go into. So. And we can be there in about. How far from Columbus? An hour. You said, what, an hour? Yeah. Like an hour and a half. The car went the other way Hour and a half to Columbus? Yeah. Oh crap, I'm starving. We're we'll gonna have to eat here in Albany then. There's a Dominican restaurant, but like it's highly rated, but the food wasn't special at all. Am I heading um in the downtown right now? Look. There's a Jackson in Phoenix City that's rated 3.9. That's an hour and a half? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can't wait now. I gotta eat now. It's already 5 30. I can't <laughs> wait to, if I eat if I wait that late to eat I'll get sick. So let's okay. head to downtown Albany and see what's in downtown. Okay. Usually we get love out of this city. Hopefully with today's topic we don't get a little too uh rambunctious down there. Yeah. We have some interesting topics, but that's what's going on. I mean like my job as a YouTuber is to travel and show you guys what's really going on. Unfortunately, that's the situation going on down here. Yeah. I would have hated that barbecue place we ran into at the beginning, but based on things that I've seen happen to me in uh, Georgia and Alabama, I and Mississippi too, Jeez, I just don't feel comfortable. I hate. I hate that it's got to be that way. Like I didn't pick it to be that way. Mm -hmm. That was rough in there, bro. It's look rougher than what we were in earlier. Oh, this place looks pretty good. It's not far from here. What's it called? Tease Barbecue. What are they rated? 5.0. Oh, yeah. Out of how many? There's only four reviews.
so. Oh. So those are all usually hole in the wall places where it's like that. Oh, I remember being through. Okay, I know where I'm at. I've been here before. Alright. I know where I'm at now. Brooks Furniture. I'm already dizzy. I gotta eat. Mm -hmm. The problem with the Dominican place is it's highly rated because it's a Dominican place in Albany. Like, mm -hmm. Everybody said, "Wow, it's something different," you know. But it, it really wasn't. Like I, I don't remember it being good enough that I want to go back. Yeah. I'm headed towards downtown now. Mm -hmm. Is there anything in downtown worth trying? There's that black cow. Oh, that sucked. Do you remember it? It was good. I don't remember it being good. Yeah, I had the shrimp and grits. It was pretty good. I don't, whoa, squatted. Squatted. Squatted till you audited. The black cow. I don't like it. The building smelled like poop. No. I don't remember it being good. I remember eating there. I Actually, it was one of my worst dining experiences ever. I think it squatted. It wasn't bad. Hmm? It wasn't bad. What's this right here? Corn. Ice cream. I can't do ice cream on a cold day. The Flint. to get in there. I didn't like that cow pen place. I remember. It was like an old building downtown. You walked in. They gave you food. It wasn't that impressive. I, In fact, I remember you saying it wasn't impressive, too. How the crap are you in the deep south when your food sucks? This is frustrating. Forget about it. Go look at something else. I'm not eating there. I remember. You thought it sucked. I remember you thinking it sucked. Look, stop lying. Go find something else. Find something else. You're still. Why are you still scrolling? I said find something else. You distinctly. You. You didn't like it. You didn't like it. I remember you not liking it. I don't know, you're not. Look, open now. Top rated. I'll give you a good selection. The black cow that sucks. Barberitos, what is that? Burritos? It's a chain. Mm -hmm. Salt cellar, Marbella's Italian. The loft, does that look good? Southern food. The loft looks okay. <laughs> Smoking bourbon barbecue. Does the loft place look good? Look at the photos of the loft. It always blows my mind how well that nobody in a town like this has enough money to even eat out somewhere decent. How the crap would they have a decent place when Thorpe? Oh, Thorpe. Y'all gotta put me on the places when we come to this part of the country. I, just, I tell you what, man. I have not found a single restaurant in this whole part of Georgia. That, that, like, from Columbus. Remember when we ate at Columbus? Remember we went to an Applebee's in Columbus? And it took an hour and a half. An hour and 45 minutes to get our food. Remember that? Google's acting up. Yeah, there's no signal. The food looks alright. It looks good. What? Uh, the loft? Mm-hmm. What are they rated? 4.5? Yeah. Is it GPS at Reformer? Remember when we went to Columbus, Georgia, we, and it took an hour and 45 minutes to get up Applebee's? Remember that experience? And then the guy was like, 
Remember how Why horrendous that experience was? It's get how the loft was in Columbus. It's trying to get me to go to Columbus. Go oh. eat. This thing, we're not, we're not even the right time. Isn't there a, a, a hotel here in Albany? So the, the Dominican place is somewhere around here. In Caribe, that's the Dominican place. Mm -hmm. They're closed. Are they open? They're open. I don't want to go back there. It wasn't that great. No, I don't. Like, usually a Dominican restaurant, I would love to go back to it. If it was Puerto Rico, Puerto Rico, Dominican, I love it. That place wasn't it, There's bro. a cookout. No, I need something that's like, not like fast food, like prepared. Zaxby's. How the crap are you in the deep south and your food sucks? You want to drive so I can figure this out? Because you're not really figuring out. I've had a phone for you for half an hour and I haven't figured this out yet. Uh, there's a restaurant that's 4.1 called Blackbeard's. There's a mellow mushroom here. In this town? Yeah. Let's go. In Albany, really? Yeah. Let's go. I'm going to get to the north side of town where the white people live. Take a right here. Who does it? I'm putting it in. Take a right. Why don't you be like, take a right. Take a right. Ooh, look at the color on that Yukon. Sweet. They have a Buick Roadmaster. I just want to look at it. I'm not going to buy it. Jose, keep going. Keep going. Do you not Keep see? Right You'll turn right on Slappy up ahead. A sloppy! Remember our last video that went crazy over Sloppy? Yeah. They're like, go to Slappy and stay on Slappy. <laughs> oh, dude, can I just go look at the car? I'm not going to buy right. it. No, you are not allowed to look at any more cars. It was like a Buick. What if his dad came? I sent them out so they could look at stuff. I came back with a Mercedes Benz. He Ooh. came back with a Mercedes. Look at the color on this suburban. Oh, man. Can you imagine that thing with some 24 by 12s squatted? Which we had to return. So. The Mercedes Benz. Yeah, I got my money back. That was a good yeah. car. Yeah. <laughs> it was not the right car. I need like a, like a, look at the suburban right here. Look at the suburban. You see that? Yeah. We can find it that color. Dude, that thing is sick. I think that's wrapped. No, that's the color. That's a factory color for Zoom. That's factory? I like yeah. it. It's not a common color, but it's a factory color. Mm -hmm. I can just see that thing squatted. Mm -hmm. Some Jason Aldean. My speakers in the back. My Memphis 12s in the back. That thing is sick, bro. The color on that Yukonator. Got Coopers on it. <laughs> Sick. I can just see that thing squatted. In the quarter mile, turn left. Turn left on Austin. Beautiful there. Get off the road, man. You're gonna get rode over. Oh, we're supposed to turn there. Oh, now I'm gonna look like an id. I'm gonna look like a jerk now. I'll, I'll keep going a little bit further. There's actually a similar ETA if I go this way. I'm gonna go this way. How did I know it was going to be in the white area? I just knew it. I, just, I think I tell you it was going to be in the white area in the north side yeah. time. I just knew it. Dang southern racism. Putting all the good stuff in the white neighborhood. Dang it, South. <laughs> did these people stop on the railroad tracks? I think so. Dude, I love that color. And it is a factory color. I've seen it before. That's what we need, a Suburban. Mm -hmm. Oh, naughty, naughty. Should have waited in line like everybody else. That's just wrong. I don't understand why you do so. That's that Dawson Street that I wanted you to turn on. It's all right. I'm going to go the route that I picked. Yeah. I like that the sun's behind us. Gives us a good lighting for this video. Mm -hmm. I smell it. Smell what? Oh. Yeah. Y'all do, do not break the law like that. There's that Maryland's fried chicken. Maryland's fried chicken is everywhere, yeah, even everywhere. Florida. Are they really? Yeah. I think it was Fort Pierce. And like Sebring and all that. Somewhere. I've seen it somewhere. Yeah. There's the cookout. I like cookout. I'm going to pass the cookout. I need something more. I get it. More substantial. Mm -hmm. 
Just imagine you're on the road all day in a car, then you have something to go and get in your car. That's weird. Yeah, I mean, you need to get out. We can have Jacks tomorrow. Yeah. We can have Jacks tonight. If we go to Columbus. Yeah. We can have a, a midnight Jacks. Midnight Jacks run, get some chicken wings. Run in Alabama at night. Yeah, Phoenix. <laughs> they really hated my video. Oh, yeah, they don't like us. They really don't like us. Oh, look at the 26s in that suburban. I, I like a lot of the cultural things in the South, man. Like car culture and yeah. all bloody. Oh, look at that thing. You see that thing? Yeah. That thing is wrapped in freaking gold on 26s, bro. Oh, man. There's a lot of stuff I like about the South, man. But it's just, hey, maybe this is the type of time where we can find the type of car we're looking for. Like a... Like a squatted, a truck that's already squatted or something. There's like two suburbans lined up there. I like the car culture in this area a lot. I like crystals, but I know I am oh, not no. eating crystals anytime soon. Mm -mm. Boiled meat, disgusting. Nasty. Boy, cool. Should have eaten when I was in Alabama. Folks, hit the comment section. Is crystals not the most disgusting thing on earth? Crystals is good. If like I even white smell castle. either one of those things, I feel like throwing up. If I even smell that, I feel like throwing up. Boiled meat? Who does that? It's not bold. Boiled ground meat. Oh. Oh, they, uh, they uh, spend money on the green around here. Really? Going by the barrel? Dude. You raise your voice one more time, Catherine. One, is this a car dealership? Look, they got a Yukon. You catch that? Mm -hmm. That car dealership has a Yukon. There's a Yukon right there. It's either a car dealership, but they allow people to park. Look at that pink thing right there. What the crap is that? Pink on pink. Oh, dude, this city's obscene when it comes to cars. I like that. <laughs> this city is absolutely obscene when it comes to cars. believe how much content we made today that's why i tell you the south just the type of cars we like look there's is that a car dealership mm -hmm. what's the that first black beards look yeah immediately what's the first thing you see Yukons. Yukons. look at the black there's like four or five yukons there dude look at the cadillac on like 20 some 26s or whatever the type of things we would like to buy you you're not going to find in the dealerships to the place where we go no but you'll find it here like you can find the type of cars we like are going to be yeah, and you gotta, you gotta buy from a bigger dealership. And make sure they have a good rating, first of all. Make Is sure they have a good pink, rating. Oh my god, a pink Kia. Unbelievable. Are we turning here? Or the next one? Yeah, right here? here. Follow me around. The type of cars that we would buy are more likely to be in a dealership in this part of the country. Like, that dealership had three or four Yukons. Remember in Montgomery, we went and we started looking at cars in Montgomery? Um, dude, that one dude from Detroit that sold us the Yukon? Yeah. The one dude from Detroit, remember him? Mm-hmm. That sold us the Yukon? He was straight. Well, he wasn't from Alabama. Hey. That's quite a dude was sorry because he was from Detroit. Even he like yeah, that dude the sells the the Yukon. I like that the sells one. He was pretty cool. But like, he he wasn't. Look at that Yukon over there, twenty fours. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool, man. I like the car culture here a lot. You can't even find these cars where we live. I bet here you could probably find it like at a dealership or something. Do we need a truck or an SUV to go fishing? Like, we need this for our road trips, but we do need, like, an at-home type of car. <sighs> so sick of being on it. Mm -hmm. Dang it, intersection. Night's in. 
worst hotels ever. How far from my place? Continue on the uh, for one mile. And then I thought, if we just pay this thing off in two years, we can go buy a newer Yukon. Mm -hmm. Any Yukon you want. Once this is paid off, we can go and buy another car. Yeah. But I don't like the new ones. I like the old ones. But it's getting hard to find them with low miles. I like the new ones. Really, really? Yeah. They look alright. But I'm really a fan of the old ones. Yeah. I like that electric Hummer that's coming out. Probably a hundred grand. Probably. Is it gonna give you trouble like the other? That's the thing. You just don't know with a new model that's coming out. Who knows? It could be a piece. It probably will be a piece of crap. Yeah. Someone told me once you don't want to get the first model, uh, first anything. couple models of, of anything. anything. Yeah. You want to wait and get like the fifth or sixth. Yeah, once they've worked out all the kinks. In a quarter mile, turn left on Toledo Road. Except Ford, yeah, you could have as many models as. They're all gonna be garbage. Yeah, this is gonna be garbage. <laughs> yeah. It's still gonna be fixed or repaired daily. Left on Lado. Right here? Yeah. Uh, can I go on this on yellow? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just go. On here. yeah. You know, Continue me, on uh, Lado Road for three quarters of a mile. I'm afraid of breaking the law here. Now we're going to see. Here. I'm breaking the law here. I'm a, does this make me a phone? Am I a phone now? I'm not talking to you. <laughs> on your light. Does that make me a phone yet? Uh -huh. How many stars do I have? Uh -huh. If you're watching this from home, how many stars do I have? Uh -huh. Look at the color on that one. It's like there's a bunch of them here. You don't even like you don't even like you we've seen two already here. You just don't see that where we live. No. You know what we should do like when we do these videos? We should edit at home, like edit the stars, like on a level. And every time we say something offensive, like just add another star. And or we, every time we offend the town, just like add a star. Mm -hmm. Turn left on Nottingham, right which is the light. Are we almost there? Yes. They have a mellow mushroom in this neighborhood. Yes. Turn left this does not look like a mellow way. mushroom turn neighborhood. Right. This looks like a ghetto mushroom neighborhood. One star. Is that a Chevy dealership? Yes. Look at all the Silverados. I want to tell you, I did like my Silverado truck. Mm -hmm. It's just the fact that it was leaking oil and had three sensors failing for yeah. the first 10,000 miles. Not too disappointed. This does not look like a mellow mushroom neighborhood. Are you sure this is a mellow mushroom? Yes. Where? Behind, over there? Yeah. You see the sign? This is like a ghetto mushroom neighborhood. Mellow mushrooms are usually like in the nice part of town. This is like a dump. Jose, that's a mall. It's not a mall. It's a apartment. Yeah. Summer likes. <laughs> no, they got AMC and they got Coles over there. I think that's fancy. You sound like a complete hick. They got Kyler Cap mm -hmm. Got the barrel. See, it's right there, right there. Holy cow. Hog and bones. Look at this hog and bones. There's a restaurant called Hog and Bones in Fort McWhort. There's like Yukons everywhere. Do you want to go to Hog and Bones? Yeah. Okay, where's it at? The right? It's right here. We can eat here or we can I go to like Hog here. and Bones. We'll eat here. We'll eat here. But wow, this is the crappiest looking mellow mushroom I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. Well, you, you know, see the. Album. Usually, mellow mushrooms is like really fancy and nice. This is like a dump. Let's be honest, like they usually only put these. See the little mushroom man? <laughs> like three. 
nice new containers in a Toyota. <laughs> Here you go, Jaime. <laughs> hey. It is officially the crappiest looking mellow mushroom I've ever seen. Just walk up here. Usually That's mellow mushrooms are like fancy. They're like really fancy looking and nice. It's still like a dump, dude. <laughs> we'll see. Maybe the inside is nicer. It doesn't feel like a mellow mushroom to me. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Rant's over. Make sure you hit the dislike button. <laughs> and make sure you make a comment about how we're racist. Oh, yeah. What's a trip to a city in the South like without somebody claiming you're a racist? Yep. That's what, that's what makes the video work. Wow. 